Please focus on me. Please focus on what you need. Tortured Poets Department. The sky come back and pick me up again if I can't have us. First of all, red bell peppers are my favorite. They are the best. I bought cream cheese and everything bagel seasoning. I'm just having a little snack. Mm. I also have my hair in six like mini braids because I put a hair mask and I just kind of like want to deep condition it. This is the orange one. Yeah, I'm definitely not as sweet. Love the red pepper. So anyways, the point, it's like 11.30 right now. And I just popped a CBD, so I'm gonna crash soon. But before I do, I'm gonna meal prep some red onion. So I'm gonna do like a pickled red onion. And then I'm also going to cut up some strawberries that I wanna freeze for smoothies. And then just get my meal for tomorrow ready, my lunch for work. So this week is going to be my first week of training. So I work in the evening. I'm definitely nervous. It's just a new skill that I have to learn. Very like easy job like from what I've gathered so far. But just a new skill. So I am nervous about that. But yeah, I'm just like trying to focus on the positives. And just keep myself optimistic. And just remind myself what I'm grateful for. And I'm just so excited to have a job that I can get paid that will allow me to take vacations and take care of myself and buy myself groceries. As much as I'm like, oh, I don't want to go to work or like I'm nervous, you know, I just remind myself of all the positives that this is bringing me and how lucky I am to have a job in the first place. So let's do some meal prep. It all starts with the Chevy Tromax engine from Best in Clinical. The Chevy with up to 14 events. Do more, get more. 5,000 tells of a vehicle or during Chevy at 2.9% by 24 silver out of the lane. Take drive. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how to make it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and so ring that bell. Pickled onion coming so up right now, friends. We're doing it together. We're doing it. So you're gonna get over there, or you're gonna get over there, right? You're gonna go right over there, and then it's a little bit of a little. These, they're not ready. They've been sitting on the counter for like two minutes, but I'm just curious. These are gonna be so good. Tortured Poets Department, track two. It's my apartment, straight from the Tortured Poets Department. Bars of chocolate, we declare. Track three. If I can't have us 
to be good. Track five. Mm. My spine's pad, did you cool. think I had in me all the tragedy? Six. April 22nd, 2024. I have my first day of training today. I'm so nervous. I'm feeling lots of things like, why did I wake up and my heart was pounding? It's not like I've never had to learn a new skill before. And why did my video get no views overnight? Why did my TikTok real flop? I hate this feeling of having to be somewhere for an employer. I hope I enjoy this job. There are still a lot of questions that I have. I also think I need to let myself get out of the house some more, let myself socialize. I'm going a bit stir crazy, honestly. I guess I just have a lot of things on my mind right now. Yesterday was a rough day, and I couldn't pinpoint what it was really, but I think with better sleep I'll be okay. Hey you guys, it is Sunday right now. It's my first day off, so seems like my boss is gonna be giving me Sundays and Mondays off because in my interview I had mentioned that I like working weekends because I prefer to have a weekday off that I can like run my errands on versus on a Saturday or Sunday when it's really busy because everyone's running errands. And he actually already has somebody that would be available on the weekend, like mornings. So I think the best he could do was like a Sunday, Monday thing. So I have my first weekend off, Sunday, Monday, and I don't feel very well. 
I took like the morning to just like clean as you guys saw. This vlog is a very sporadic vlog. It's kind of just like a weekly vlog of what I could get, you know, now being back at work. And <laughs> funny enough, my first week back at work, I got a vestibular migraine. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen maybe two or three months ago, I had experienced my very first vestibular migraine, which is so intense that it makes you nearly faint um i it's kind of like going in and out of consciousness because i'm almost fainting I'm a, i think i'm about to faint and then i kind of like come to so it's a very intense migraine intense pain and so i think i'm still feeling the remnants of that right now it just popped a tylenol i've been avoiding tylenol and ibuprofen because i feel like they make me feel a little funny they just make me drowsy so it's kind of like curing one thing to then experience another thing, which is not very fun. Because um, then there's no like full relief. But I'm working, I think you can see my Peter, I'm working on this current vlog right now. I'm editing this vlog. I have a new vlog right now. Or it's not a vlog, it's a clean with me like declutter for spring. I figured while I'm sitting here, I can update you guys just on my life, how work is going. Um, what I think so far and just kind of round out the vlog. I got hired as a front desk receptionist uh, at the same hotel that my stepmom works at which I remember talking about it in my Laguna Beach vlog I was like not super excited about that I was like I genuinely don't want to do that um, but at the end of the day we kind of just have to do things we don't want to do. So front desk receptionist I kind of was seeing it as an opportunity to get into office work or like clerical work or just something that would be able to yeah push me into some kind of like admin job somewhere where i'd have the, just like a typical eight to five eight nine to five type thing have my weekends off if not just two consecutive days off like i said i don't really care if i work weekends i just want consecutive days off and then you know a place where i could have like a proper lunch break um my proper like two 15 minute breaks and benefits you know life insurance health insurance dental vision things like that so that's kind of like what i was thinking and then because it's more of like an entry level i was thinking that i would be able to use this experience whether i take six months a year two years here take that experience and be able to apply it to other places to get some kind of admin work if things with like say what i'm doing here or just my other projects that I have in my head, what I would really like to do takes takes longer than, you know, a year, six months, two years. Because with entre entrepreneurial things, there's no timeline of when things may happen. There's no timeline of when to expect to make like a proper income. You know what I mean? I was actually put with a trainer that my stepmom requested on my Instagram. If you follow me there, you'd have seen me talking about like her zodiac sign. I was like, I feel like she is a fire sign because she came in just very hot, lots of energy, just super friendly, outgoing, and confident, and just very social. So I was like, I know she's a fire sign. She ended up being a Leo. I've learned everyone's um, zodiac signs there in a week. <laughs> So without like going into like what I think of the people and everything, because you just never know who may watch your videos, going into like the job itself, it seems so far like a very easy job. I just have to like learn the new skill. Um, and it's easy in the sense of like, besides the computer system and like the hospitality, like the guest service it's an easy job because i have an eight hour shift every day and a good four or five hours you really don't have to do very much besides stand there <laughs> i actually find myself getting bored you can take a book you can take like stuff to draw you can take your laptop and work on your laptop which i can see myself doing once i get more comfortable with everyone but yeah, I've been taking a book and reading, I've been journaling, I've been doing my affirmations at my job because when you finish all of your tasks and you're waiting for people to either like check into the hotel or leave the hotel, um, there's not much to do. There's a cleaning crew 
who take care of the lobby so you really don't have to do very much cleaning on the lobby it was interesting like navigating my anxiety throughout these six days of initially being just excited but nervous and a little resistant but overall staying positive and then like by the third day i was like i don't want to go in i can't do this my anxiety is overwhelming but i'm just gonna go and then by the fourth and fifth day just being like oh i totally got this like i'm learning you know and then by the sixth day being like i hate it here <laughs> um i'm i'm thinking about quitting as soon as i can you know so that's been an interesting roller coaster. And it all comes down to my anxiety and how well I can like maintain it. So it's been important for me to like journal and do like affirmations and whatnot throughout the whole week. And it has been helping. Something that I'm gonna have to like learn to navigate and do is now that I have a full-time job, how to create videos, like content, like what am I gonna be putting out? As of lately, my vlogs have been consistent of me being at home whether i'm being productive at home or whether i'm creating some kind of like home body vlog if i only have two days like a week where i'm completely free to like make videos i really have to like utilize that time my handbook with my job um is actually very open to like employers filming being at work and stuff like your job um, the only rule that I really saw was like you can't claim to work there <laughs> So I think that I can maybe do like days in my life or like weeks in my life with my job But I'm not quite comfortable there yet um, To like do that. So I don't quite know what I'll be doing Content wise to wrap up my thoughts though I want to say thank you uh, If you're coming from my Instagram If you're a longtime follower If you're just a friend of a friend however you have found my video thank you so much so back in february i posted a video that i had made like the previous summer but i never uploaded it and it was a video of me taking a shower and it was like a self-care video and there was like literally 10 seconds of like side boob and that one posted it it was up for like a week like hardly any views right like 13 views and then all of a sudden the views just kept going up and up and up right now it has 39,000 views i had noticed that those views were going up and my demographics like my analytics were changing and my analytics were becoming 90 percent of my viewers were males which was the opposite it was like 90 percent were female that video just kept climbing and climbing and there was more traction coming to my channel, which I'm obviously so excited about. That's what I've been wanting for years. However, the target audience was not what I have been posting all my videos for over the years. Hence, this clip. So I decided to go to TikTok and my Instagram and ask for some help from you guys. Because the people who are on my Instagram or my TikTok or who have been following my YouTube for years, or if you're newer and you're part of that targeted audience, you guys are the people that I want on my channel. And even though I get views every single day from that video, it's not the views that I'm necessarily looking for. So I had asked if you guys can just start watching my videos, clicking the links that I'm posting, and I had a specific video that day to help bring in those people those the targeted audience so that youtube can kind of pick up on the algorithm and you know whether it's coming from tiktok or instagram and in that day i significantly saw the difference or i saw that growth and i saw the turnaround essentially and i've been seeing it ever since then on all of my videos and each time i do post a new video um, I can see you guys showing up, so thank you for that because I think that it's really helping my channel find the right people. Same thing with like my subscriber count that has gone up and I know that's not necessarily the people who are my targeted audience. Um, it does help though push my stuff out there, but that's also why you guys help my channel find the target audience and you guys watching, commenting, liking, sharing, whatever it is. All of that's going to help the right people come to my channel so i'm just really grateful for that and i just wanted to include that in this last clip before i end the vlog here um and just say thank you i'll see you guys in my next video